Hello y'all. It has been utter chaos <laughs> all up in here. Let me tell you. Y'all do know that my in-laws are living with us. We just launched a new business and podcast. There's a lot going on. Health, family, grandparents. You know, it's just, life's crazy. It's a season, it's a crazy season, let alone finding time, quiet time in this house to film videos for you guys. This has just not really been happening, but we are here. In honor of the chaos that my life has been, I figured it would be fun to do a updated recent favorites haul, particularly with the angle of things that have been bringing me peace and grounding me and bringing me joy in the midst of a really chaotic season. I've shared this disclaimer before on other favorites videos. I never ever just wanna come on the internet and present you with items that you need to purchase to be happy or healthy. I really pray that every video that you watch on this channel is a reminder to you that your health, your happiness, your brightest life is more about the choices that you make in your daily life than it is about having any particular thing, right? Y'all know that. I do have a couple of items that I've just been like loving lately that I'm excited to share with you as well. Some of the like rituals and habits and books and podcasts and songs that have just been uplifting my heart and my spirit and helping me find peace and just helping be an anchor to me in the midst of the chaos. So first favorite, it's kind of a two part favorite. The actual item that I can show you are these beautiful new Hoka shoes that I got. Have you guys seen these things? I mean, surely you have. I feel like everyone and their mother is wearing Hokas on their feet now. Kashmir got these, I think about a year ago when he trained for his half marathon. I have really needed a new walking shoe, mostly walking, I was gonna say running, but like I have not been running lately. Favorite number two that's been grounding me lately is walking. I have been walking my little booty off lately. It has been so therapeutic for me to go on walks. One, with Kashmir. I love to go on evening walks with him, especially working on Knotted now. We're spending a lot of our evenings working together. We've been going on walks after dinner and it's kind of like the way to like shut work down, shut the day down and just be present with each other. We'll decompress on the day. We'll share how we're feeling about things going on. It's just been like really sweet connecting time for us, especially with my in-laws living in our house naturally us getting out together for a walk has just been like really sweet one-on-one -on -one time but i've also been walking a lot by myself we actually just recovered from covid i can't believe i didn't say that in the beginning telling you why life has been chaotic all four of us in this house just had covid can i say that on youtube am i gonna get like flagged for saying that word i think we're past that point right i actually did great I hardly got sick at all. I'm kind of convinced the reason I got so much less sick than everyone else in my family was because I continued to go on my walks. You have heard me say this like 10,000 times, so I won't harp on the scientific benefits of it, but I just spent so much of my life as a runner believing that walking wasn't an actual workout. And I'm so glad that I'm not there anymore because walking is truly my favorite form of exercise lately. Probably like six to 10 times a week. Seriously, like 90% of evenings, I've been going on a two mile walk before bed. It just it feels so good. And these, these, how beautiful. I tried these on like a year ago and I was like, they're so ugly. There's no good colors. And the one color that I was kind of interested in was out of stock in my size for the last year. They just launched this new, I think they call it eggnog. I don't know. I'll link it for you guys. I think it was called eggnog. Isn't it stunning? It's like a really subtle off white. And then the like accents are like really creamy. The creamy factor elevates it for sure. It feels like a lot more stylish, especially with just like black activewear. It's good. Next favorite is something that I've wanted to share with you for a while. They're small but mighty. <laughs> it is these exfoliation gloves. I got them off Amazon. They are incredible. I know that these look like totally innocent. It's pretty coarse and tough. I think I got the medium. I will link whichever one I got. I just use my regular body wash and kind of lather it up in 
both the gloves when I put the gloves on my hands and I just like scrub my skin and it just feels so buttery soft and I've noticed if I use this before I shave my shave is a lot cleaner I get less ingrown hairs they're great they're great they've kept my skin feeling soft it just makes me happy in the shower it's like two extra minutes in my shower where I just feel like I'm taking care of myself I love smooth skin it's like one of my favorite things in the whole world i literally shave like every inch of my body i shave my arms i just ugh, i just like smooth skin so love these next favorite i'll share is in the food nutrition nourishment category which we're all here for i shared in my latest what i eat in a day blog i have been making the most delicious crunchy crispy potatoes. I can't express how much I love them. There is a local diner that we go to. I actually go there every Tuesday morning to meet the girls in my community group, but I never, I don't eat breakfast all the time, but every once in a while I order their crispy potatoes with eggs. I get sunny side up eggs so I can dip my crunchy potatoes in my yolky eggs and it's like one of my favorite things in the whole world but obviously i mean i've never asked them but i'm like i'm sure that they fry those things up in canola oil and so i don't like to get them often i have finally perfected making crispy crispy delicious potatoes at home in the air fryer with grass-fed butter and this does fall in line with this chaotic stressful season because i've shared with you guys in that video i am really working on increasing my potassium it is a nutrient that i am somewhat deficient in it's also really important to help my actual body cells get my thyroid hormone which is what i've been struggling with my thyroid anyways potassium is so important and so often we're getting potassium at too low of ratios with our other minerals and so one of the best whole food sources of potassium is glorious white potatoes i've been really enjoying like batch prepping them and like mostly cooking them putting them in the fridge which side note if you're part of my kill these program i share this sneaky hack in there one of the great things you can do for gut health and just general glycemic index response to starches is cook your starches refrigerate them and then reheat them that process of cooling and then reheating the starches actually turns a larger ratio of the starches to resistant starches which are the good starches that help feed our healthy good bacteria actually added bonus but it works out perfectly because I have been prepped like batch prepping them and then cooking up a, a small serving of them every morning in the air fryer with my runny yolky delicious eggs and it's been especially nourishing for me in this stressful season because having high quality whole food carbs is so important for mitigating stress and having a carb that i just like enjoy as much as i do those crispy potatoes i've just been looking forward to it if you haven't tried them watch the what i eat in a day because i walk you through the exact steps of how i make them but they're just perfection they're perfection Oh, they're so good. Another nourishment favorite, another effort I've been making along with potassium and whole food carbs has been getting enough protein. Protein is so important. I'm really shooting for 150 grams a day, which is really hard for me. So I've been trying to make sure I've been getting other whole food sources of protein consistently throughout the day. And this, oh, I guess I should show you what it looks like. <laughs> this Naked Way protein has been so good. I have shared about this in other videos. Again, what I eat in a day is I also shared a chocolate cherry smoothie. If you have not tried this yet, you need to. This protein is so freaking bomb. This is my third tub. Guys, This look at how big this is. This is a five pound tub. This is my third tub this summer. I'm not kidding. We have been plowing through this. I first bought the strawberry flavor thinking that I would actually like that more than the chocolate and I did not. I did not. The chocolate is superior. It is so good. The only ingredients in here, grass-fed whey protein concentrate, organic coconut sugar, and organic cacao powder. That's it. That's it. That is all that is in here. It tastes good enough to just like plop in some water and shake up and drink like a protein shake but i really enjoy drinking it with some raw milk a couple ice cubes or the cherries check out that recipe for sure this would also be delicious in the mint chocolate chip version as well if you struggle getting enough protein in your diet or if you are consuming a protein powder that has junk in it 
give this a try you will not be disappointed i it it is the least protein you know what i mean you know what i mean proteins that taste like protein it is the least protein tasting protein i've ever had and it's just such high quality i love it okay final like item thing tangible thing to share is this dress i am not i am truly not exaggerating when i say i've only worn this like i think like three separate occasions since i got it i have been stopped by at least 15 people <laughs> out in public asking me about this dress. I'm not even exaggerating. It's also been bringing me a lot of joy in a season where I'm struggling with my health. I'm feeling kind of foreign in my body again. My body's changing. Jeans aren't fitting. You just, you know, you know. Like you don't wanna put on clothes that might not fit. This dress has just felt so good to slip on and I feel beautiful in it. I feel comfortable in it. I feel free in it. And clearly everyone is obsessed with it because I cannot believe how many strangers go out of their way to stop me and ask me about this dress. Now, I want to share a few of the things I've been listening to that have really been bringing me joy and peace in this chaotic season. First one is a song. I've probably listened to this song like a hundred times in the last two weeks and I'm not really exaggerating. I can't stop listening to Maverick City Music and that's nothing new, but their song Firm Foundation has been just honey to my soul lately. It's, it's so good. Let me pull up these lyrics because I can't stop. These have been a prayer in my heart lately. I've still got joy in chaos. I've got peace that makes no sense. I won't be going under. I'm not held by my own strength. I've got joy in chaos. Like that in itself, every time, that's in the second second verse, every time, I just like, oh, it just brings peace to me. I've got joy in chaos. I've got peace that makes no sense. <sighs> yeah, in a, a tough season like that has just truly been my anthem. I have been listening to that song a majillion, patrillion times a day, and I've just been praying those words and asking the Lord to give me joy and chaos and peace that makes no sense, because that's who he is and that's what he does. If you haven't, do yourself a favor, get in your car and turn the music up really loud and blast that song and sing till your heart's content and you will feel so much better. The next thing I've been listening to, or I should say I listened to because I consumed it in like one sitting. I just like didn't stop listening to it because it's pretty short, but it was so good. Winning the War in Your Mind by Craig Rochelle. Holy smokes. I don't know why it took me so long to read this. It's been on my want to read list on Goodreads for a really long time. I finally just downloaded the audiobook and I literally like turned it on while I was working out one morning and I just like didn't stop listening to it. It was so good. It was also so rich that I know like the way I consumed it, I wouldn't recommend because it was like it had all these exercises and I didn't do them because I just listened to it. So I actually just ordered a physical copy of the book as well. Like that's how much I love this book. I know I want to continue to reread it. It's probably gonna be one of those books that I want to reread every year. It's just so good. It is so incredibly in line with things you hear me talk about here all the freaking time when it comes to our relationship with our bodies. I really believe so much of our health is our thoughts and our thoughts are so powerful. I really believe that showing up for your brightest life, the first 70 to 80% of that is controlling the thoughts in your mind. I say all the time that I'm here to help you stop fighting the war against your body. Almost all of that is in your head, it's in your thoughts, and your thoughts are so powerful. And so I just loved this book. It was saturated with scripture. It is so biblically based, but also scientifically backed. And it's just so powerful to see the truth of what we see presented in the word of God with the science that proves all of that to be true. It, it was so tangible and he gave you action items to work on your thought life and it was it was really good. It was really good. I recommend reading the physical book over the audio book like I did just because like I think you're gonna want to chew through it slowly. Maybe we can do that together when I get the physical book in hand, but I will link it so good, so good. And it, it really did just remind me of the power even in this hard, stressful, crazy, scary season, so many things um, that stress in my experience of 
this season, a lot of it is m controlled by my thoughts. And so I've just felt even more equipped to navigate the chaos around me lately, being reminded of how true that is and the power that I have to combat that with truth. So really good book. And final recent favorite, something I've been enjoying listening to. Yes, I have actually listened to it. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird or not. Our new podcast, Let's Get Naughty. If you missed the announcement, Kashmir and I just launched a new online business ministry with a podcast and we are so excited about it. Let's Get Naughty is a marriage and relationship podcast. There's just so much goodness. It's been such a joy and it really, it has brought me so much joy in a tough season to do this with cashmere and we feel so on mission and on purpose in creating this and we are so hopeful that it's going to be an encouragement to you as you listen if you are married it's definitely for you but if you're not yet married it's totally for you too because we really do want to serve people on the other side of marriage to help them prepare for marriage. In fact, that's what we created our course for. I've shared here plenty of times that we have been premarital leaders, mentors, counselors at our church for years now. And so we decided to take all of that goodness and put it in an online course for people who aren't yet married. We do have plans to create similar resources for married people too, so get excited. But if you're not listening yet, give it a chance. I hope it brings you so much joy. Obviously it's different from what I share here with nutrition and wellness focus, talking about marriage, definitely different content, but I really believe that if you enjoy my videos, you're gonna love the podcast. It's also so much fun. I feel like you guys get so much insight into cashmere, my husband and our marriage and our life. Like there's definitely stuff I've shared on there that you will never hear on this channel. It's been fun for us to create it for you. It is so fun that it's finally out in the world because uh, no joke, we've been working on this for nine months. It just feels so good to share it with you. And it's so fun that it's like an actual podcast wherever you guys are listening. Spotify, Apple Music, Google, Stitcher, all the places. I hope you give it a listen. Let me know what you think. I hope it brings you some joy. Well, there you go. Some of my recent favorites, things that have been bringing me joy and peace lately. I hope if you check any of these out that they make you smile and they bring you some joy and they help you show up for your brightest life. I really do mean it. I absolutely plan to continue to post weekly videos on here. In fact, I'm really hoping that I could start to post two videos a week on this channel just still figuring life out in this new season. So thank you for your patience. I promise there's so much good stuff coming. I just, now that not it is out in the world, I feel like I can finally start to work on the plans that I have for you here, including my next nutrition, body, image, body, love. You guys don't even know how amazing my next course for this business is gonna be. I just, I cannot wait, but courses take a long freaking time. Can't wait to bring that to y'all, but in the meantime, I am so excited to continue to grace you here, show up with you in these weekly videos. I hope this one made you smile. I can't wait for the next one. I love you guys. You are beautiful. You are bright. You have a light to shine that the world needs, so go out there and show up for your brightest life. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.